Howdy. Sorry for the uh, crummy quality. Had some time constraints that kind of pushed me to have to do this this way. And at the very, very last minute. But um, we'll get through this. So today we're going to read Alma chapter 4. Before I begin, I invite you to pause and say a prayer, ask for discernment, so you can get those what you're supposed to. If you want your own physical copy of the Book of Mormon, not unlike this one. Not this one in particular, because this one isn't mine. I also, on account of the time constraints, did not have a Book of Mormon on me, even though I thought I did. So I had to borrow this one from the library. And, uh, yeah, if you want one similar to the one I just showed you, there's a link in the description you can follow to request one. If you would rather get one from me, then that's totally doable. You just have to send an email to the truth about waffles at gmail. Truth, sorry, the truth about waffles at gmail.com. And I'll write my testimony in the uh, inside cover or the page opposite the inside cover or the other inside cover or the other page opposite that inside cover or anywhere there's blank spaces. Wherever you want. All right. In English, in Spanish, in German, in Esperanto. Can't promise it'll be very good Esperanto, but I, I can do that, probably. Um, let's see what else. There's links in the description to follow along online, or skip ahead, or go back, or read from one of the other, you know, sources of doctrine, such as the Bible or the Pearl of Great Price, or the Doctrine and Covenants. Um, yeah, there's links that you can also use to download the Gospel Library app for your Android, iOS, or Windows device. And uh, don't forget to take notes. If anything is, I don't know, just special to you, or jumps out to you, or just stands out in general, Take notes, pray about them, ask a missionary about them, and that's it. So, Alma chapter 4. I think this is a short one, so hopefully it won't take too long. Now it came to pass, in the sixth year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi, there were no contentions nor wars in the land of Zarahemla, but the people were afflicted, yea, greatly afflicted, for the loss of their brethren and also for the loss of their flocks and herds, and also for the loss of their fields of grain, which were trodden under the f underfoot, and which destro and destroyed by the Lamanites. And so great were their afflictions that every soul had cause to mourn, and they believed that it was judgment of God sent upon them because of their wickedness and their abominations. Therefore they awakened to remembrance, to remembrance of their duty, and they began to establish the church more fully, Yea, and many were baptized in the waters of Sidon, and were joined to the church of God. Yea, they were baptized by the hand of Alma, who had been consecrated the high priest over the people of the church by the hand of, the father, of his father Alma. And it came to pass in the seventh year of the reign of the judges, there were about 3,500 souls that united themselves to the church of God and were baptized. And thus ended the seventh year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi. And there was continual peace in all that time. And it came to pass in the eighth year of the reign of the judges that the people of the church began to wax proud because of their exceeding riches and their fine silks and their fine twined linen, because of their many flocks and herds and their gold and their silver and all manner of precious things, which they had obtained by their industry. And all these things were they lifted up in were they lifted up in the pride of their eyes, for they began to wear very costly apparel. Now this was the cause of much affliction to Alma, yea, and to many of the people whom Alma had consecrated to be teachers and priests and elders over the church, yea, many of them were sorely grieved. Many of them... I was reading that again. For the wickedness which they saw had begun to be among their people. For they beheld... For they saw and beheld with great sorrow that the people of the church began to be lifted up in the pride of their eyes, 
and to set their hearts upon riches, upon the vain things of the world, that they began to be scornful one towards another, and they began to to persecute those that did not believe according to their own will and pleasure. And thus in the in this eighth year of the reign of the judges there began to be great contentions among the people of the church. Yea, there were envyings and strife and malice and persecutions and pride, even to exceed the pride of those who did not belong to the church of God. And thus ended the eighth year of the reign of the judges. And the wickedness of the church was great was a great stumbling block to those who did, who did not belong to the church, and thus the church began to fall in, it, in its progress. And it came to pass, in the commencement of the ninth year, Alma saw the wickedness of the church, and he saw also that the example of the church. He saw also that the example of the church began to lead those who were unbelievers on from one piece of iniquity to another, thus bringing on the destruction of the people. Yea, he saw a great inequality among the people, some lifting themselves up with their pride, despising others, turning their backs upon the needy and the naked, and those who were hungry, and those who were athirst, and those who were sick and afflicted. Now this was a great cause for lamentations among the people, while others were abasing themselves, succoring those who stood in need of their succor, such as imparting their substance to the poor and the needy, feeding the hungry, and suffering all manner of afflictions for Christ's sake, who should come for, who should come according to their spirit of prophecy, looking forward to that day, thus retaining a remission of their sins, being filled with great joy because of the resurrection of the dead, according to the will and power and deliverance of Jesus Christ from the bands of death. And now it came to pass that Alma, Having seen the afflictions of the, of the humble followers of God and the persecutions which were heaped upon them by the remainder of his people, and seeing all their inequality, began to be sorrowful. Nevertheless, the Spirit of the Lord did not fail him. And he selected a wise man who was among the elders of the church and gave him power according to the voice of the people, that he might have power to enact laws according to the laws which had been given, and to put them in force according to the wickedness and crimes of the people. Now this man's name... Okay, I don't know how to say this. Nephiha? Maybe? Possibly? I'll get it right next week. And he was appointed chief judge, and he sat in the judgment seat to judge and to govern the people. Now Alma did not grant unto him the office of being high priest over the church, but he retained the office of high priest unto himself, but he delivered the judgment seat unto Nephiha, that guy. And this he did, that he himself might go forth among his people, or among the people of Nephi, that he might preach the word of God unto them, to stir them up in remembrance of their duty, and that he might pull down by the word of God all the pride and craftiness and all the contentions which were among his people, seeing no way that he might reclaim reclaim them, save it were in bearing down and pure testimony against them. And thus, in the commencement of the ninth year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi, Alma delivered up the judgment seat to that guy, and confined himself wholly to the high priesthood of the holy order of God, to the testimony of the word, according to the spirit of revelation and prophecy. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, next week I'll get that guy's name right. I don't even know if he's part of the next chapter, but if, even if he's not, I will pronounce it right before I start reading. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all have an awesome weekend. And I will see you next week or whenever I post another video. Later.